<laughs> Shall we begin? Welcome to the Happy Monster Cast. I'm your host, Scott Marshan Davis of Happy Monster Press. Let's begin now. This week on the Happy Monster Cast, the misfits encounter the legendary riders of industry. <laughs> This podcast contains adult language and adult situations. Previously on the Happy Monster Cast, a band of misfits has joined in an effort to break the power of the big boys over the holler, including preacher Piety Jackson, gouger Carl, son of Carl, Mountain magician Buck Grayson, bootleg distiller Booker No, and itinerant crooner Old Blue. The misfits are headed for the Fayfall to learn the secrets of speaking with demons. But the big boys may have other ideas. Oh, um, so I wasn't here last week. What did, uh, what did I miss? Uh, you oh, missed a, what did you miss, boy? You missed some damn fine preaching is what you missed. <laughs> Lord <laughs> Jesus! What do you Wake got? Up, Lord! Sweet oh, boy. Yeah, but there was a strike Another and uh, a bunch of preachers there, trying. So two of them trying to convince the strikers to oh, well, one of them was trying to convince strike? the strikers to go back home and get back to work. One of them was trying to convince the strikers to quit their Quit their, the job. their strike and uh, come live in their cult compound. Oh. Cult compound. Ooh. I don't think that's what she called it, but yeah. <laughs> but and that's essentially what it is. Was. That's pretty much what it was. And then I mean, of, drink the Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. Is it a polygamous cult Kool Aid compound? Uh, I think it sounded like a free love cult compound. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I wasn't okay, close, but not quite. Okay. Heathens. <laughs> it was a lady <laughs> running open, the show. More hedonistic. Gotcha. Less Mormon, more hedonistic. Got it. <laughs> I just want to know. Like, <laughs> Very much a back to nature kind of thing. Sounded kind of appealing to Buck. Uh, I hope you rolled very well for my character. <laughs> uh, we did actually oh roll God, pretty well for your character to support, mostly to support Brendan's preaching, or rather Piety's <laughs> preaching. I can imagine myself in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, towards the end, a large force of company guards, Kramer Holt agents, and mechanized forces broke the strike. But thanks Ooh. to your influence, many of the strikers made it out clear. Excellent. Now, the other thing that happened that's very strange was you got a prophecy. Oh, uh, you got a prophecy that you, you five, are special. Well, I already like, knew that. Short bus, like like short bus special, like that, that's numbers, where my mom math special. Me. No, no resource you, room. You know the legend of the riders of industry who brought the curse that isolated the holler from the world and brought the blight uh, and the demons and the fey folk and everything. Right. Uh, and Lester Holt, the leader of the Church of the Anointed, Piety's very church, says I knew I was special. You are also you are you are the counter to the writers of industry. My goodness, I, I never did learn to count. <laughs> but you are the writers of progress. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The, riders the riders of the revival, the riders of freedom. And we right, get industry is unfree and tight. Right, right. Got it. Holt also told you that he believes that all the demons are are holler folk. They are your kin. Right. Oh, then, right. I remember that. Okay. And that they can, if they can, if you can free those demons, then they'll help free the people of the holler. And he suggests that you talk to the Fae Queen. 
Now, the Fae Queen seemed, sounded pretty dangerous in Lester's story. She might help you. She might feed you to Vodox. Mm. To, I'm sorry, to what? Vodox. Apparently, they have slimy skin and razor teeth. Mm. Do we have any common allies? <sighs> With the Fae Queen? Well, she's, she may or may not be a big fan of the big boys. That's what uh, we're going to find out. That's what you're going to find out. How old is she? The Fae Queen? Oh. Yeah. Thousands of years. Yeah, Fae. I mean, old. You like older old. women, right? <laughs> That's just saying. <laughs> it's, like right up my time, alley. Dude. it's like geologic time. Like, blink of, like, 100 years, blink of an eye. Yeah. I do the I do that thing where I kind of I lick my my finger and my and my pinky and I and I and I slowly on my forehead right my two eyebrows <laughs> just, smooth just, just, just smooth them out I go I'll hand her her very nice so from Ashdown there's no real good broods <laughs> headed towards Orchard Lake where you're told you might find the fake queen so you guys are on foot. And as I thought you, we were driving. You drove. You were able to drive to Ashdown. Ah, uh, but okay. past past there, the terrain's too rough, and there's no real good roads. So you're pretty confident your 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 jalopy wouldn't make it. So you have to head out on foot from there. I mean, you drove from up here by Helmlock all the way down the Corncob Gap, down through Coal Holler to Ashdown. So you you made most of the trip by vehicle. And, and where is she on the map? So, somewhere around here. Oof, that seems pretty long. How long is mm. that? You, no, you can walk it in less than a day to get from Ashdown to Orchard Lake. Like uh, less than 12 hours? Yeah, about 12 okay. hours. Yeah, about 12 okay. hours. Just yeah. about, okay. So we probably, so what, like, affair. do we, like, leave, like, in the morning? Is it nighttime? Uh, you headed out first thing in the morning to try to make the whole journey by daylight. Okay. And about midday, over you see four riders clad in dark clothes, riding imposing black stallions, and surrounded by a oh, shroud of light fog. This oh, that's good. I'd like to hide. This may well be the riders of industry themselves come back from the grave to foil your mission. Can I go ahead and roll stealth? You can. Okay, good. May may I make an occult roll to see if I recognize them as anything super special and all that jazz? (laughs) Old Blue, you're you're uh, you're pretty well hidden. Pick care. Pick some shrubbery there. Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a tree. Let's see how these guys do against you. <laughs> Buck, with that role, uh, you your only uh, real info is that you think these really are the writers of industry. So not war, pestilence, famine, and death. Well, they kind of you, won't, act you won't rule that out. Okay. It's just, that's what immediately popped into my head. What are the rest of you doing while Old Blue is diving for shrubbery? <laughs> they seem to um, have blunderbuss-like weapons as well. You hear, and as they approach, you hear horns trumpeting from the sky and, and booms that shake the ground. Uh, can I try to read somebody's mind real quick? You absolutely can. Who are these guys? What are you here for? Well, that is most likely going to work. So you're going to basically grab the lead writer and try to read his mind and ask him what he's here for? Yeah. What are they doing here? Oh, everything just zoomed in. (laughs) What happens when you write something in chat? Oh. Oh, okay. All right, so you can, in fact, 
you do connect with this rider as you chug your magic moonshine and as mm-hmm. they get close. So that's the last thing that's going to happen before they close in on us. Before they close, before combat starts. Oh, oh. boy. I'm going to throw the boost lower strength on Carl with rays. <sighs> so they're here for us. They are here to take you out. Uh, Carl, do what you do. Can I confirm that they're the riders of industry? That is what they, that appears to be the case. Yes. Okay. And so that will put, that's going to get us into combat as they, as they rapidly approach here. Let me just. Set up the group here. Yay. One, two, three, four riders of industry and all y'all. Let the games begin. Old Blue, they have not, you don't think they've spotted you. Buck, you're up first. Uh, crap, I wasn't grabbing soup. Um, in that case, uh, I've already boosted Carl. Um, can I take a shot at one of them? You absolutely Let's... can. All right, can you roll for me since I am AFK for a sec? Sure, we'll use your big gun. Excellent. Uh, let me target. We'll just target the, the lead rider here. Why do you have all those negatives? You're so negative. Have you not? Just here to oh, go. it's because you're carrying so much stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> drop it all. Drop it. Drop it. I'm just on the ground. Pick it up after. Basically, because uh, you're very weak, the gun itself is too heavy for you. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to pass. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, yep, someone else can take this. Never mind. <laughs> all right. Let's see who. So it needs a strength D8. Does anybody other than Carl have a strength D8? (laughs) No. No, I don't believe. Hey, Carl, you want a big boomstick? That's the fanciest looking club I've ever seen. (laughs) It's It's a club that goes boom and shoots. Yes. Club, club, shoot, shoot, boom, boom. Yes, yes. Oh, Carl, you now are the proud owner of a really big gun. I'll carry it for you. (laughs) Hit things with it. All right. I'm fairly certain the opening goes towards the bad guys, but I'm not sure. Correct. You are correct. So I'm going to say that you've fallen back on your peasant bumper instead. Uh, That will miss unless you want to Benny it. Does he have to close range with that? No, they're just they're just within range at this point. Oh, okay. Do you wanna do you wanna go with the miss or Benny it? Oh miss. Okay. Next up is Piety. Oh uh, well before Booker, do you wanna move? Because right now you're standing right out in the open. Yeah, let's go hide in the bushes. Behind a tree. You can take cover behind this tree over here. Somewhere over here or something. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that'll work. All right. So, uh, but it's not your turn yet. That's okay. Heidi, would would you like to move into cover? Let me think for it. Yes, I I would like to move into cover. Can I get to heat? Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, Where do you want to go? I was thinking of um, why am I not? Why is my mouse not activating? Um, over here. Is that? Oh, it? yeah. So you want to go? Oh. You want to go over right where Old Blue is, which will undoubtedly reveal his presence. Oh, well, maybe not do that. <laughs> okay, you know, I guess. I, I guess mean, you maybe. can if you want. No, that's okay. That's okay. So I'm, I want to be back here, so you're kind of behind yeah. the tree. All right. And what else would you like to do? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to cast confusion, but add a couple of power points to make it a large area effect. Okay. And if I cast it here, 
I think that should encompass everybody. Is that right? Well, no. You'd want to cast it more like here. Let's look at the range on that. Yeah, that that's when I was thinking of going over here because of the range. Either way, you're not going to be in range. But if you went to this tree, you would be. Okay, let's do that. See if you can get to that tree. Yeah. Okay. All right. So quick, quick dash to the shrubbery. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. And um, Neat. all right. So this is going to be. I think it. I think it takes a three power points to get. And as you get close to them, you see that they're wearing gas masks. Uh oh. Huh. That's concerning. All right. Not sure what that's going to do for this, but okay, here we go. All right. Didn't have any effect on the power of the Lord. Ooh. But that roll does. Man, no, I'm going to Benny that. How many Bennies do I got? Yeah, I got plenty. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's Benny that. Don't forget to target people when you're casting uh, things at them, too. Uh, well, that certainly did the trick. Wow. Hit, hit. Scoop, scoop. All right. So let's see here. They need, they all need to make smarts rolls at minus two. Ooh. Mm, Trixie. Uh, that one does. Oh, first guy's okay. Really interesting. Second guy's okay. They're ro they're rolling well. Okay, so third guy's, guy's not necessarily ability. Okay, third got it. Fourth guy's not. So third, the two okay. guys in the back are now distracted and vulnerable. Yay! All right, have at them, guys. Debuff them, bad boys and gals, and and, and you prisons. also see that the in the eyes of the gas masks are glowing a demonic red. Yeah, uh, <sighs> Let's have it come. Are you in range? How far are bad they, guys? I'm pretty sure these are bad guys. No, they're bad guys. They're yeah. they're here to take yeah, us out. Yeah, they're oh, yeah, you're in range. Guys. Like, no doubt. Pretty sure you're in no range. See, but you're smart. Okay. Oh, yeah, easily in range. You can drop a hammock right. right in the middle of them. Oh, 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 delicious. <laughs> drop it in there. Nuke, so, nuke that stuff. You light one of your moonshine jugs and huck it out their way. Pop, pop. Oh. Are you happy with that? Let's try again. Well, I mean, that's you, that succeeds. <laughs> well, same thing. So, <laughs> don't forget to uh, target people when you're doing stuff to them too. Ah, right. All right. I'll so, drop it right in the middle. First off, they're all distracted now, and then second off, we need some strength rolls. Which I'm gonna make for their horses first. Ooh, let's kick them <laughs> off. I mean, yeah, just I just need to grab a standard horse here, just so I have it for making rolls. Put a horse over They're here. They're not like special rider horses. Appar apparently not. Mm -mm. And They're the writers of industry. There's budgets involved. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First horse is okay. There are budgets involved. That was funny. Second horse is not okay. Give me your 2d6 roll, please. Third horse is not okay. The horses are rolling really badly. Okay, so two of the horses are hurled violently into the woods with their Aww. riders. Actually, one of them's hurled violently into the woods. The other one's hurled right into the tree 
the body he's hiding behind. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't. So you have to make uh, riding rolls to stay. Let's see. Does that knock you prone? Is the question. I think it does. Nothing quite like getting hit by a horse. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so I'm going to say that does not automatically knock them prone. They're going to have to make riding rolls to stay on the horse. Which the first guy does does pull off. Very high. And the second guy just barely managed to stay on the horse, but then they all have to make their own rolls too. So the first guy manages to, manages to stay put. The guy who went up north, however, gets thrown off the horse. But is not damaged thereby. The guy who fetched up near the tree uh, manages to stay on the horse. And the guy in back is thrown off. But is undamaged. So I'm just going to color code these guys to show that they are dismounted. That guy's off his horse. And this guy's off his horse. The horses go running off because they weren't, they didn't really appreciate getting blown up. (laughs) That was not in the contract. No. So the, the gray, the gray shaded ones are uh, the ones that are dismounted now. Okay, Carl. Um, if you want to get in punching range, you are going to have to run. <laughs> That's just a funny image. Sure, let's do it. All right, so do the run and roll first. All right, where's running? Is... You just click the pace button. If you click the little die next to pace. It's above your uh, weapons and stuff under drive stats. There we go. All right. A nine will get you right up to that rider of industry that's next to piety. See if there's any impact from his him being mounted here. How tough is the horse? <laughs> Do you if you like to punch the horse? Yeah, you could probably knock out the horse. Do it. Do it. This Let's one's see. for Mongo. I was just about to say, <laughs> you should change your name to Monka. Don't forget to target the horse. All right. Uh, that definitively hits the horse with a raise on both attacks. Ooh. Ooh. So the Ooh. horse is out, the the horse is out cold. Very Yikes. interesting. <laughs> Yikes, indeed. Did he stay on the horse when it went down? <laughs> yeah. No, no, you cannot. Uh, well, he he's off, he is knocked off the horse, so he is potentially going to take damage. Could he could he potentially be trapped under the horse? Depends on how much damage he takes. Not which, with those ninja skills. That was not so good. So I'm going to say yes. He is pinned under the horse because he took a lot of damage. Oh. And then he's going to try to soak the wound that resulted from him landing under the horse. Uh, 
uh, it's very Carl's very scary. So he doesn't soak any wounds, and he is also bound, stuck under the horse. Oh, oh, blue. Oh, blue. Uh, I'm gonna hold my action till the enemies move. All right, held. All right, first rider of industry. This the uh, one, the only one who's still on his horse is going to charge Carl. Actually, is he going to charge Carl? What's he going to do here? No, he is going to shoot Carl. Awesome. <laughs> just, just go straight to the. Jesus. Because, uh, Damn it, they're learning. And that is going to hit. Too smart. <sighs> so a cloud of greenish gas sprays out oh no shoot he wouldn't do that because it's a burst attack so his only option is to charge you so he's charging you oh get and out of he, the way he draws a sword of all things and charges oh, you he's a sword no i'm gonna redo that that's gonna completely fail to hit you though Nice. Oh, low roll. He's oh, actually wow. in a Benny it. Mm. Oh, but he's burning bennies. He's burning bennies. And he critically oh, fails. Oh, snake eyes on the bennies. Wow. Crit fail. Wow. So All he's right. going to have to make oh, a riding right. roll to avoid falling off the horse. But he can't spend another Benny on that turn. Uh, he can't spend another, He manages to stay on the horse, though, but he tosses his short sword out into the woods. Ooh. Yep. Hey, Somebody remember sword. where they landed. <laughs> yeah, that's sharp. We want. We want. Okay, so this guy. Let's see. Who can he see at this point? And what's the range on that thing? It's definitely in range. Okay. So this guy runs up behind this tree here. And seeing the old man who chucked the. We got for range there. And he shoots the, the blunderbuss looking thing, and a blast of green goes shooting out at you. Specifically a booker. But it misses. Out of curiosity? Yeah. Would I have gotten a counterattack off that totally failed attack? Yes, yes, you would. Counter attack away. Nice. Nice. That would be the rider, not the horse in this case. No, that's fine. <laughs> don't, don't forget to target him. Okay. Is there is there something <laughs> different between the rider and the horse here? It's the same icon, right? Same icon. It's just uh, their their parry is different. But if you target the rider, if you target the the, the icon, you're targeting the rider. Okay. I've got red triangles. Is that targeted? Targeted. Punch away. Do, do, do. Where is that? Come on. I don't get frenzy on the counterattack. Oh, how do I take that off? Uh, just click on it and then turn, just click on it and then turn it off. And then click on it, on, click on it and then click on frenzy, basically. It's the modifier box. And then there's a set at the bottom. I have yep, to turn. There you off. go. Okay. There we yep. go. Go for the eyes. Boo. Oh, uh, also oh. crit fail. Okay. Oh. So oh. you accidentally oh. punched oh. the tree oh. you're standing next to. Oh. But it doesn't hurt. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it also doesn't hurt. So it's also like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a sound effect for that. <laughs> there we go. Hey, the writer of industry. Uh, yeah, he's he's not gonna want to stay shaken, so he spends a Benny to unshake, and he's gonna try to pry himself out from under his horse. <laughs> Are those guys still staying up there? The last one that fired his gun. He's not moving. This one did not move. No, uh, or this guy. Wrote, this guy moved in closer. This guy hasn't done, hasn't gone yet. 
Oh, okay. The guy in back hasn't gone yet. All right, so he does not get anywhere in getting out from under his horse. And this guy is going to ride. How fast is they? Pretty fast. He's going to ride over this way. And he's going to shoot his blighter at. I can interrupt with. Uh, with athletics, I yes. Well, I, I can interrupt because I was holding my action, right? You still have to do athletics to go ahead of him. Ah, okay. Then I guess so I will try to do that. Yeah, make an athletics roll. You happy with a five? Um, mm. uh, I think that might be the best thing I can do for now. Yes. Uh, no, you do not oh. succeed in, in interrupting. So that attack goes off. A cloud wow. of a cloud of green surrounds Buck. Oh, fudge. Make a vigor roll, please. Vigor. All right. Boom, boom. Let's see. Vigor traits. Vigor. Should roll in. Oh. Man, it's a critical a failure of today. Wow. All right. So <laughs> you, you inhale a bunch of the gas. Uh, <coughs> and oh, all boy. of your vigor rolls are now going to be at minus one for a bit. Oh. Can I shoot at him now? Yes, yes, you can. All right. Do I... Does healing help that? Does relief help that? It does not. Okay. Um. And you are <sighs> okay. And it's but wait, there's more. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Fudge. You just sucked in a whole bunch of light. So I need you to make a spirit roll. Mm. I believe that is a higher. Yeah, higher roll. Okay, good. You don't get the demon shakes. Nope, I'm still me. I'm still good. Oh, blue. Please select a weapon and then target the guy when shooting him. Which I'm, I'm, I didn't get corrupted. Still uh, good. Uh, I would guess my peasant bumper. Uh, it's not letting me select him? Is just, it because uh, I still have the hold icon? No, just hit T when you're on top of him. Okay. <clears throat> Do I uh, add anything because I was in stealth or no? No. All right. Doesn't help you hit him. <laughs> and that, uh, that will miss. Unless right, you Benny. I'm go ahead. Yeah, I'll Benny. Uh, let's see. Actually, wait. No, it's a yeah. shotgun. That hits. Oh, perfect. Mm. Give me a damage roll. All right. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. Damn! Three wounds on that poor sod. Bang! Bang! Boom! Boom! Bang! 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 <laughs> He's gonna try to shake here. Oh, he does pretty well on that sit on that soak roll. He soaked two of them. He's gonna go with that. Still using a lot of his resources though. Yeah, and he's wounded and shaken. I'm gonna go ahead and move. Exactly. Okay. It's like uh, <laughs> I can move what six squares. Yeah. Uh, Buck, you're up first. All right. Uh, thinking about powers. Uh, am I still in an area of effect in that gaseous effect? Hey, you sucked it in, so that's that. Okay. It's just I feel like crap. Okay. Um, how many squares can I move? Six. Okay. Don't move too far. Or I, run. I might be able to he- help you. Can I at least get a little closer over yeah. here? Um, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there any way I can help out Booker? Uh, let's see. Boost. Uh, you could either uh, boost his shooting or his distilling, depending on what you what you want him to be good at. Uh, yeah, why don't we go for your shooting? Uh, let's see, why is that not working? 
powers, boost lower. Oh, I have to right click them. Powers, boost lower trait, and then it should do shooting, yeah. Well, no, first you gotta cast it. Okay. Yeah, make it, you have to make the roll first. Which you do not. Only okay. shipping. Uh -uh. Which you do. That on the other okay. hand makes oh. it with a that on the other hand makes Dude, it with a race. Shows. Do you remember how to do the nice macro Danny. to uh boost up Booker shooting? Uh no. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. So I will take care of it then. <laughs> Select you, target booker. Magic effects builder, boost trait. Where is shooting? Giving it the up the ups. Why is Booker? Do you not have shooting? Uh, you know, I don't. Well, that's why the, the macro isn't working then. So temporarily, you do. Okay. Suddenly, you can shoot. Nice. Briefly. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. Yep, with reasonable confidence, no less. You have a D6 in shooting all of a sudden. Okay, so should I just roll a D6 then? Uh, no, I just added it to your character sheet. <sighs> oh. Look at that. Well, that doesn't allow you to immediately shoot, though. Hmm. You do have to wait your turn. Aww. Carl gets to go first. So you got one guy on the horse in front of you and one guy who is pinned under a horse next to you. Well, that guy's not going anywhere. Well, let's take care of the guy that's on the horse because he seems to be very, very assertive. Hold on one second. I gotta go find my... Too many windows. Too many windows. Multi the tabbing. There you go. Get back here. Do, do, do. You. And punches for you. Big money. Wow. Big money. Both of those hit. One with a raise. Woohoo. Raise, raise. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yes. I am still appropriately targeted. Yay. Yay. Oh. Okay, so if I do the raise thing, is that going to... That'll just apply to the one that needs it, right? Yes. So that's for the first one, which is with a raise. Okay. Uh, that will shake him and do two wounds, which he oh. will attempt to soak, assuming he has any bennies left, which he does. So you soak one of them. And, and now, now I can, just... Now you punch him again. <laughs> now you roll the damage again. Whoop! Beef, beef. Well, the six is there, though. Oh, and man. he's out of Benny, so he's pretty messed up. Booker. Yeah. Can I shoot now? Yes, yes, you can. Nice. Who are you shooting? Um, the person I have the best shot at hitting. Well, we that guy right in the middle. Yeah. Um, that hits nice, nice. Uh, go ahead and do your shotgun which would have been a better option from oh, the beginning sorry is that peasant pumper yes all right and then damage ouch Look at five interesting Wounds. So that will shake him and do a wound. She is going to try to soak. Which he does quite handily. That doesn't automatically unshake him, though. And he's burning back. Heidi. I hope right. that was the last buddy. I am going to shoot the, the guy that uh, Booker just shot. Okay. All right. So let me uh, get the peasant pumper. 
Hits. All right. Here it comes. Ouch. There you go, buddy. Oh. How about a little <laughs> fire, Scarecrow? All right. <laughs> Oh boy. So the guy that Oof. Wow. The guy that mm. uh Carl punched does manage to break clear. And then he reaches to his chest and he holds out some kind of amulet towards Carl. No. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. All right, and Carl, you're seized with overwhelming dread. Is anybody wounded or no? Make a spirit roll, please. Nobody's wounded at this point yet. I mean, none of you guys are. (laughs) There's time. Spirit rolls are important here, though. You don't want to get all evil and stuff. Oh, nice. there's a six. Oh, nice. six is nice. Oh, nice. I think Whoa. one. Oh, is five, six, six, I think it's fine. Goodness. That guy yes. broke, broke broke exploded. This guy does not scare you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He broke the game. Is what this the dude that was under the horse? <laughs> what kind of a No, this is the that? dude that was in, that's in front of you that you've been punching. Oh, okay. Good lord. You know, you know, fear. Fear Why is don't you go killer. get your pig sticker out of the woods and we'll try that again? You won yeah, the This guy rides down here <laughs> and he pulls some kind of a it kind of looks like a bullhorn out from behind him and green flame erupts oh, from the bullhorn oh, towards you. Green flame. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> I was gonna and say. then it kind of sputters and dies. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much the noise it makes. <laughs> yep. Hey, the guy you've all been shooting critically fails his uh his shaken roll. Oh wow. wow. So he rides over here and hides yeah. behind a tree. Nice. <laughs> all right. And then the guy who's stuck under the horse going to try to pry himself loose again and fail oh blue um i'm going to go ahead and use my peasant pumper Hold on. get that out here and t that guy and that hits since it's a shotgun. Awesome. Shotguns at short range are bad news. Eh, okay. Oh. And you've shaken and wounded him. Nice. New round. Hooker draws a joker. Nice. Woo-hoo. Joker. Which means you get to go first, which is and a good thing too, because the, the riders of industry are next. I mean, I, I can't. If I drop blindness over there, I think Carl and Piety are both going to get hit with it, too, if I succeed. Yeah. Uh, well, no. Can I drop it like over here? Hey, you're doing if you a do a uh, if you do it in as a te- if you do it as a template. You definitely can drop it where it will only hit the two riders. You can't hit all three of them, I don't think. Okay, I'll give it a no, shot. No, you can hit all three of them. You have to spend the extra three power points for the large burst template, though. Nah, we're just going to go for it. So in that, it's two power points to hit two of them and three power points to hit all three of them. All right. Uh, I'm trying to add a power point. You want to add three power points if you want to hit all three of them. I can't. So I'm clicking plus. No, you're add. adding. You're adding power points to you to what you have, uh, mm. which is not the right answer. On in the chat where you would roll, there's yeah. an add subtract button there. Okay. 
So just hit add three times. And then go ahead and make your distilling roll. I'll make sure the PowerPoints get sorted out. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, oh my you, you drop your moonshine bottle that, perfectly wow. in the midst of them. Splat and blurp. They start clawing at their eyes. Nice. As the uh, wood grain alcohol splashes into them. <laughs> All right, so they all get the effects of blind with a raise. Oops, uh, I need to see on target. So select you and then target, target. Uh, Blinded them twice it's with a raise. Target. Both target. eyes. Both eyes. That's right. Blind cast with a raise. Boom. A bad day for them. <laughs> All right. So first rider of industry is the one facing off with Carl, who is also blind. And he pulls a sphere from his saddlebag and hurls it down at Carl's feet. You can see Carl. Well enough to hurl the bag, yeah, but not well enough to actually do anything with it. It kind of hits nice. and cracks open, but doesn't seem to do anything. Next is the shaking guy. He unshakes, but is still blind. Oh, no, so this is the one that's not blind. I need to see if the guy who... Uh, he has to make a bigger roll to see if he can unblind himself which he cannot. So the one guy who's not shaken, he's going to try his green flame blaster again. Uh, oh, oh, crud. Ugh. That one does go off. For 13 damage on Booker, Buck, and Old Blue. Yikes. Yep. So, Gross. Booker, that's going to shake you and do two wounds. Can I soak? I it's already worse. Yes, you can. Okay. Is that under general? Or... Actually, I, I can if do the little face, right? Yeah, you can do the Mr. Yuck. Just make sure you put in that it's two wounds. Buck, yours is also two wounds, as is Old Blue. Uh, whoops. Oh, Booker ducked out of the way just in time. Wow, I'm spry. I think this works. All right, so. The the other two of you soaked one wound each, unless you want to Benny it and try again. Yeah, I'll, I'll reroll. The one wound. Oh. Also, oh, still one wound. Even worse. Yeah, but I'll take one wound over two. Yeah, uh, that's fine. All right, so you're you're both shaken and wounded. Oh. 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 I have healing, but like, I just want to nail these guys first. All right. At the same so time, I don't want to die. This writer of industry is up and running again. And he reaches down to his belt and twists his belt buckle. And then he's surrounded by green flame. Crap. And the guy stuck under the horse. Whoops, I gotta see if he uh, 
and he manages to unblind himself here. He does. Guy under the horse is going to try to haul himself out again and continue to fail miserably. And then we're on to piety. Okay. All right. Um, nothing fancy. This guy is going to get the peasant pumper treatment. Okay. Okay. Once there it is. All right, here we go. It's with a raise. Ow. And he is blown off his horse. Wow. Nice. Buck. Uh, may I cast healing on Old Blue? Uh, you absolutely can. I All believe right. that is touch um, range. Okay, so I've got to walk over one. Yes. All yes, right. it is. Boom. Okay, I do that. Powers healing, but I've got to right click you. Yep. I think you need to uh, unshake, don't you? He does need to unshake first. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, that was roll a spirit roll. Done spirit. Okay. Why is that not working? There we go. You are okay. not shaken. Now you can make your okay. healing roll. Okay. And then I've got to right click old blue. Was it shift or right click? P e for target. Okay. E. Okay. No, T as in tango for target. T. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then that's why. Okay. Powers, healing, PowerPoint, folk magic. That should do it. Oh. Not with that roll. Yeah, man. Oh. It's like I rub a bunch of like twigs together and like slap them on them. And it's like they fall all over the place. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> and like waving my hands like that <laughs> uh, with the critical fail oh no uh, you ran out of your healing um, mushrooms yeah and, and i can't even benny i can't benny like my healing you can't benny out. and your healing power is offline oh that's terrible i'm so sorry Ugh, ick, gross carl it's been the night of like critical fail. Rules. I know it's like, seen more critical failures tonight than I have in a long time. Like <laughs> double ones. Carl, you're up. Okay. Can I book it over to that guy on the horse over there that keeps attacking my friends? Yes, yes, you can. You can. Uh, you would have to run to get to him, though. You don't have to run to get to the guy who's surrounded by green flame. You also got a guy next to you, don't you? Well, he's pinned under a horse. But I gotta, I'm, not... It, it, I'm not worried about him. There's, there's a guy uh, in a tree with a shotgun. <laughs> Who's going to take care of him in a round? Um, Bonk him. And you have to run to get him. to the rider of industry who's uh, who's been green flaming your friends. You do not have to run to get to, get to get to the guy who's surrounded by green flame. I don't like the look of somebody surrounded by green flames right now. Oh, any, that's not going to help. No, it, any result is good enough. So you can run over next to that guy. You are at a minus two to hit him, though, because you ran. Good. Knock his block off. I'm going to hit him anyways. More than likely. Don't forget to target him. Yeah, you uh, hit him. You hit him. Tw you hit him twice with raises. Uh, no, sorry, once Ooh, with a raise, once that? without. But it's Man. probably only going to take the one. Give him the old one too. So he's out cold. 
New round. Uh, I didn't go yet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, blue. Uh, all right. So who is? Oh, I got to. Uh, you got on shape before you can do anything but move. All right. So just hit. Was it spirit? Yeah. Uh, nope. Uh, but if you spend a Benny, you immediately unshake. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spend that Benny. Okay, it doesn't matter what the roll was. You're not shaking anymore. All right. Uh, anyone near me injured? Uh, yes, Buck is injured. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to use Faith Healer. <laughs> All right. Use it your doesn't... wacky hands because my shroomy shrooms ain't worky working. So, uh, it, it doesn't, doesn't act, really it doesn't do actually anything. heal you. It just means that you're you get a plus. Your wound is off, penalty is offset. Huh. So I have to make, I believe, a performance, performance roll. roll. Yeah, be healed. So by the, be healed, Buck. Right. Be healed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm trusting. I'm gonna I'm give you like a in good faith. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a back rub while I sing Kenny Rogers. What condition my condition was in? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good, enough. Works, right? <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. works. Now it's a new round. Three, All right. Old Blue, you're four. up first. Okay. Nice. Oh, <laughs> like boy. Two turns Three. in a row. Oh, dude. This is Wacky Wheels. Okay. So the only rider still standing is this one surrounded by green flame up here. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to move here. And I'm just going to go ahead and shoot the guy that's already on the ground. All right. Uh, he has a lot of cover, so that's going to be a minus four. Oh. Because he's on the ground under a horse. I guess I'll shoot the guy with the green flame. Okay. So uh, that's going to be a lot. You don't get the plus two for the shotgun because he's partially behind a tree. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, that's it's, it's at least a shooting it's... roll. Mm-hmm. Straight shooting roll? Yep. That will miss. I don't think I have any more bunnies. You do not. Fuck. Okay. Uh, let's see. Booker's going after me. Okay. I'm going to pop over next to Booker and... Let's see if this works. Um, I'm going to cast. Does relief work? Would relief be helpful or um, not beast really? Friend? Beast friend. You could try cast beast friend to try to persuade the horse to uh, buck the guy off or similar. Yeah, I mean it's a little nutty, but let's try it. Does not go. Oh, actually, does go off because the uh, you don't have the penalty. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that is going to set you back two power points because you're talking. You're doing it to a horse, and you now have the ability to. You now have the ability to talk to the horse. Yeah, I'm going to say things like, those people that ride you aren't very nice. I'm just, I'm going to taunt it and just can try to confuse the hell out of it and just talk to a good brush. Well, I mean, yeah. you, could, you could just tell it, throw the guy off. Also that, throw the guy off, <laughs> like, fuck him. Yeah, fudge him. The chase. Yeah, but, yeah. All right, so he's going to have to make a riding roll to stay on the horse. Which he does. Well, this guy is apparently a pretty good rider. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Fucker. Mm. Get the last guy? Uh, you can absolutely try to shoot the last guy. Let's uh, let me check the range on your. Yeah, I'm wondering. 
I might get to accidentally hit piety. You're not going to accidentally hit piety, and you are still at short range. Okay. He does have cover because of the tree. Yeah. But, he, but, but... you hit him anyway. Mm. Damage roll, please. Mm. Is that D3? It's the 3D6. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, I think he's done. Do extra. It's gonna be that's gonna be tough. Yeah, he's out of Benny's toughness, so he's he did. Nice. That took a nice. while. It did, oh. and one of them's still alive. Captive. He's like he looks up at Pi and he says, "I quit. I quit." <laughs> wise decision so next week you can see what you can find out from this guy nice you capture a writer of industry to interrogate it's amazing what beating people into submission does for their willingness to talk well especially when their Everyone's three buddies pinned. are all there's uh two out of their three buddies are dead the other one's unconscious and you're pinned under a horse <laughs> yeah, it's not your best. Exactly. Yeah, advantage. your options are yeah. pretty limited. <laughs> Tactical advantage here. <sighs> you can follow Happy Monster Press on Facebook as Happy Monster Press, at our website happymonsterpress.com, Twitter as Happy Monster PRS, or follow this podcast on YouTube, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, iTunes, or Google Play Music. Like what you hear? Support us on Kofi at o.fi.com slash Happy Monster Press. Happy Monster Cast is part of the Savage Worlds Media Network. This game references the Savage Worlds game system available from Pinnacle Entertainment Group at www.peginc.com. It is unofficial media content permitted under the Media Network Content Agreement. This content is not managed, approved, or endorsed by Pinnacle Entertainment Group. Certain portions of the materials used are the intellectual property of Pinnacle and all rights are reserved. Savage Worlds, all related settings and unique characters, locations, and characters, logos, and trademarks are copyrights of Pinnacle Entertainment Group. All other content is the intellectual property of Happy Monster Press. Music, Ice Cold by Jason Shaw and Lobo Loco Spencer from the Free Music Archive. Oh, shout. (laughs) Hehehehe.